You ready? Yeah. Yo, what up, Urban RCLA? Hey, so this is Reed here. You know, we do lots of crazy stuff on Urban RCLA. Um, this looks like an unfamiliar zone. None of you all have seen this before, because I got a call just recently from my brother-in-law. His name is Chris. He had the fucking craziest idea ever. So we're at Chris's house. Let me introduce you to Chris. Chris, come on in here. Hey, guys. How you doing, brother? Good, man. Good, <laughs> good. Glad to be here. Well, I was just surfing the internet one day watching YouTube videos, you, Urban RCLA, and then just kind of going and checking out other sites. <laughs> Shiloh, I know you like It's cold, but it's warm enough. Good exercise for the dog, though. What's up with the controller, man? You got that for transmitter. What is that? I know the '80s call. They want their radio back. <laughs> This is just dope, dude. <laughs> Hit a transmission. Thank you, dude. This is so slow, bro. I'm so ready to upgrade. I'm done with this. I'm so bored. I don't know what else to say. And, and so you you actually have real racing experience. Yeah. So you you built cars from the ground up. Tell us a little bit about that background. Yeah, I've been racing probably 
24 years now. Started out with the 73 Chevelle, which I still have to date. Um, and we're in the process of building it right now to another level we've never taken it to. We're gonna do a blown alcohol motor. We're hoping to go somewhere in the mid to low sixes, um, 245, 250. Um, but you know, I just, it, it takes time. So I got bored. Listen, this is a guy that's used to going how, like 200 miles an hour? I haven't gone that fast yet, but um, we've gone 180, 190. 180, 190 and a quarter mile? Quarter mile, quarter mile. So he likes speed, fast, acceleration and I don't know overall would you say all the videos you've seen on fifth scale either Baja or 5T or 4x4 are they going fast enough? I think some of them are but I'd like to see it go faster and mostly it's it's they're just putting around the yard I want to see you know bashing I want to jump it off of rocks I want to do what's equivalent to like king of the hammers but with fifth scale cars where you go desert racing with them then you hit rocks and you just don't get off the throttle you just keep hammering down through those rocks and you know what, if you built the best truck, you get out and you have a great day of bashing and there's minimal damage. Is this guy speaking our language or what? He's speaking our language. So, Chris, I mean, obviously this isn't your first, um, you know, foray into the RC world. Like, you, you clearly have an interest in it. I mean, you are a full-scale racer, drag racer. Well, why RC? Like, what got you into RC? And, and tell us a little bit about your history there. Um, I started RC and um, I got my first um, kit, which was a grasshopper, for Christmas from my pops. The grasshopper? And, um, <laughs> And it was an electric deal, but as soon as we put it together, within 15 minutes, I was like, I want to go faster. You know, what's the upgrades? What can we do? And unfortunately then, you know, it was kind of like my dad controlled the situation. So he ended up giving it to me, and I just saved my money, started doing that. Then I got into my car, and I, and I took a break from RC for a long time. And um, 10 years ago, my wife brought me this car, which she knows how I like the kits, which is the HPI Savage. Um, you just explain this to me for a second while I show it to everyone. Basically, it's just a gas-powered kit car with a bunch of aftergrade, or what would you call it, aftermarket, aftermarket products. Um, once again, you know, even from the even from the factory, I just bolted on better parts before I even finished putting it together. I mean, I just, this this weighs probably 15 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's all. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is a serious. I mean, that this this frame can't be. The original frame. No, it, it's completely stock except for um, I've just done some gear modifications, ball bearings, things that they don't give you in the kit that I feel is better when you go bashing and give you longevity. As long, my thing is that you know you buy good parts, you maintenance the car after you bash it, you run it, you race it, you clean it, you know you go through it. It's gonna last you. You're not gonna have problems when you're out there having fun. You're gonna get your hours on hours of fun bashing, driving, racing with no problems while everyone's over there in the pits working on their stuff and being like, oh, because they just didn't do preventive maintenance. <laughs> Urban RCLA, bitches! <laughs> uh, 
All right, Urban RCLA from Reed and Chris. That's what we got. Yo, what up? <laughs> See you next time. See you guys later. Bye.